Yeah, yeah, tubers. A new toy. I've had one of these before, but I think they've revised it a little bit from the, the first one that I had. Well, it's still called a C12. Anyway, C12RT. Focus, there it is. C12 rotary tool. So, before they were called M12 tools, they were called C12 tools, so that makes me think that this design hasn't changed. But this is just a multi-tool. It does between 5,000 and 37,000 RPM. You can handle up to a 50mm in diameter bit in the end of it. I think these are 1 8 bits or what's 1 8 3.1 mil or something. Basically it's just it's the replacement for like these. Remember the old Dremels? And it's M12 platform, so it means you can run. It's beautiful in the M12 batteries. Variable speed sliders, nice in a good spot. Battery gauge on the back, which is giving the chainsaw a sharpen. The Milwaukee chainsaw a sharpen with it. Quite a, quite a nice tool. Let's see if I can get a bit of an angle on the uh, chain on the other saw. A bit faster. As you see, that's it's quite handy. A few of these old bits up here too. Imagine you put a rag that's got polyurethane down on something. Now be mindful that these stones are cheap normally. You should never run them to the full speed of a tool like this. But it means you can get little drum sandpaper, slip him on the roller, you get a little drum sander. So I'll chuck that in and I'll show you how that works. I'll show you how to change the bit. You hold this button in, it gives you a spindle lock and then you can undo them. I generally leave them not super tight. Um, main reason is they can't, um, they can't break or get stuck in there. Sometimes debris gets in the collet they can be hard to get undone or you might leave them in the tool for a long while that's the other thing it's got a really nice small head up the top for a grip so you can put your hand around it like that and it's quite ergonomic you can also screw on an extension I don't know if Milwaukee make them or not but for instance I've got one hanging on the wall in the shed here two actually so this is just a Call it grinder extension. So you got the shaft there. You just literally let's change it. Okay, so you stick the end of the flex shaft into the tool. Square that up. Try and do it up one handed on camera. Look excessively goofy. Okay then. You got that screwed on there, you chip it in the end of this handpiece. You can now turn it to a one lever on the bench. Get your bit at this end it's moving. For whatever you're trying to do with it. That's handy when you're polishing. These are a lot. You can hold it like a pen. Hmm. Yeah, that's another option with them. 
Stodo Chase then. Thanks for watching.